Happy Monday, guys! Thank you all for starting to transition to the business page. I'm really excited about it. A lot of things has been going into play. Uh, everything's not quite 100% set up yet, and not a problem. We will just roll with the punches or go with the flow. Um, I was just kind of, I've had some people reach out about um, recognizing depression and recognizing um, some different uh, mental illnesses, and I just kind of want to talk a little bit about that. So, um, depression is not always uh, noticeable right away, and it's also not something that we talk about a lot and, and no, mental illness in general is not something we talk a lot about although it's becoming more prevalent around the nations as more and more people are suffering with a form of mental illness so with that being said um if you feel like you're drained or you're not as interested in the activities you were once interested in or you feel like you want to sleep more or your eating habits have changed um, or you're feeling more pulled back from the activities and the friends uh, that you that you and entertainment that you used to do and be involved in, and, and you just kind of want to lay in bed and not go anywhere. Um, I would maybe consider talking to a pro professional. I I would think uh, someone that's more versed in handling that form of situation. In regards to PTSD, everyone has different symptoms and. No one person that suffers from PTSD, uh, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, um, is the same as another. For me personally, I have great days and I have wretched days. Um, there are days where I'm on a high, which uh, and when we discuss highs and lows, a high is I'm fantastic, I'm on top of the world, nothing's going to stop me, I have all the energy in the world that I think I sucked for my kids, but yet they still have all the energy. So I don't know where the energy comes from, but um, I'll go a whole day or two days or three days or even a week where I'm just flying high and there's no stopping me from morning till night. I can just go and go and go and get everything and then some accomplished. And then there's days where, um, that I like I recently just had, where I'm just on a low and low is... Even though I want to feel good, I want to be smiling, I want to be doing things and accomplishing things, there's just something that's pulling uh, pulling me back uh, mentally and, and emotionally where I just feel like I can't get out of bed, I can't move, I, I want to cry all day or two days or three days or a week. Um, it's, off, it's often misdiagnosed as bipolarism because you are having highs and lows. So you really need to go to a professional to seek out which uh, mental illness m might be fitting you and what you're going through. So never self-diagnose. Always go to, if you have insurance, call your provider. A lot of them have free mental health care. Um, if you don't have insurance, then a lot do pro bono and you can contact them. Again, mental illness is becoming more prevalent and others are wanting to help you get through that situation. So despite, you know, all of the amazing things that people do and go through and the positivity that I put out and trying to heal others, uh, you know, healing yourself has to be a main focus. So, you know, if there's moments where I just kind of disappear, it's because I have to focus on me and it's, and it's not the best day. But if there's moments where I'm always out there, even then, it's sometimes making others feel better makes you feel better. And, and that's how it is for me. Um, and there, there's nothing more powerful than giving somebody else joy, love, peace, happiness, uh, laughter. It's just, it's indescribable. So with that, I would like to challenge everybody to just put love out there and it is hippie or whatever it, it, it is, as that sounds, is that we all crave love. We, we all need love. We need human affection. The unfortunate aspect of this world is that it is an ugly and dark place. 
So I, I challenge you all to do something loving for someone else selflessly today in this week, even if it's just one thing, if it's a smile, if it's a hug, if it's a fist bump or an I love you bro or giving a homeless person a dollar or a meal even, something that's just genuine and, and from your heart because we all need it, we, we all require it. And if we can just start doing small things to help each other out, maybe I'm crazy, but, well, technically I am. But maybe we can start to heal this place that we live in so it's better for the generations to come. Let's work on that, guys. Love each other.